Okay, so we will talk about deterministic finite automata or DFA. So, it is basically a 5 tuple. consist of q which is a set of all possible states then uh, sigma this is the set of all possible alphabet so this these are all finite delta this is called transition rule which takes one state and one alphabet and it will go to the new state q0 which is a starting state we have to start from a some state so this is the starting state which is uh, which is there is only one starting state for finite automata. So, there are some different type of automata which can be having many starting state, but for our case here finite automata DFA, NFA, epsilon, NFA will all have the one state to start that is the Q 0 or which is called uh, starting state and then we have a F, F consists of set of all final state. So, th this could be many. So, this uh, Q is nothing but set of all possible states this is the q that means all possible state our uh, uh, our system can be so this usually we denoted by capital letter so q is some state say uh, Q uh, A B C D like this. So, use some capital letter to indicate this uh, states and this is basically the set of alphabets. This is the another input. So, this this we uh, this could be 0 1 this is the binary input alphabet could be binary then it is 0 1 or this could be some small letter like English alphabet from A to Z these are the small letter because capital letter we are going to use for the state and small letter we can use for the alphabet or it could be ASCII value this could be set of all uh, ASCII value of ASCII value. So, these are the alphabets that is the another another part of the input of this finite state machine. Okay, so, this is uh, So, let me write it again. Yeah, so it basically 5 tuple q sigma, then the rule q 0 f, and q is the finite set of state. So, that is our Q set of all possible state. The sigma is the a finite input alphabet. Alphabets and delta is the transition rule. So, our system is at any state, suppose our system is here, some state say Q and then uh, it will take an input, input it is a A and it will go to another state P. So, this is in other word we can write delta of Q A is equal to P, this is the way. So, we are at state Q and we take an input alphabet A and it will go to the new state P. So, that is the that will by the this rule, this is called uh, state transition rule. So, this is the transition function or transition rule. This is called transition function or rules. 
So, this is this is a function form uh, q because this is one input state, another input is an alphabet. So, q cross delta, I sorry, q cross this uh, uh, q cos sigma to the it will go to the another state q cos sigma to q. So, it is taking one input as a present state and another input is the input alphabet and it will move to the new state. So, this is the state transition function and then we have a starting state. So, we have to start with a from a state. So, that is q 0. So, q 0 is belongs to q is called the initial state or the starting state of the system. Initial state or the starting state. So, it needs to start from a state. Okay, so, that is the q 0 and we have the f. f is also consist of some states which is called final state. There could be one final state, there could be many final state. So, that is why f is a subset of q is the set of all final states. So, this is the final state or it is also called accepting state. Set of all final state or accepting state. Set of all final state or accepting state. So, this is the this is a this could be one also this this could be one. So, so f consists of some state say f is nothing but some q 1, q 2, q k. It could be only q k or q 1. So, f consists of some states which is defined to be as accepted state. So, this 5 tuple is referred as d f a. So, any d f a. So, this, this is the deterministic finite automata. So, deterministic finite automata is basically 5 tuple, this is the set of all possible state, this is finite, this is the set of all possible alphabet input, this is also finite, this is the rule, the transition rule. Currently, we are at some state, we take input, we will go to another state. So, that rule, that rule will come from this function. So, this is a function from delta cross uh, sigma to delta, I, uh, 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 this is a function from this q cross sigma to q and this is the initial state our system is as initial state and then this is this is referred as final state so any dfa consists of this five tuple so now we'll take an example very simple example of modeling the switching switch on off so if we have a switch it has only two state either it is on or off and depending on the axis i mean we'll just push there is only one input alphabet that is push. So, we basically have two state one is off another one is on and we have only one input which is push. We have a switch if it is on if we push it it will be off if it is off if we push it it will be on like this. So, this is push button. So, we are at this stage where, where the switch is off. Now, we will put it on, push, then it will be on. Switch is on, we will push, it will be off. So, this is our, this is the starting state if we can say, we start and this is the ending state or accepting state. So, for accepting state, we will use this type of double circle which are belongs to f. So, this is there are two state off and on this is the q 0 starting state or the initial state and this is our this is f f consists of this state on we will accept it if it is on like that i mean just a convention and what is the delta so the states are this and sigma so sigma is the input input alphabet which is nothing but push that is our sigma we just push switch push 
we have a switch we just uh, press the button push that is the sigma and accepting test is this. So, what is the transition function? Transition function we can write in the table. So, this is delta. So, uh, we have two state one is this on one is off and we have two, uh, two uh, only one input which is push. So, if we are at off on if we take the input push it will be off. If we are at off, we take the input, it will be on. Very simple model of this switching system. So, this is the uh, on off switch. So, this is the uh, this is an example where we are modeling a on off switch using a finite automata. A finite automata a finite automata modeling modeling and uh, on off switch. This is an example a finite automata modeling and on off switch. Okay. So, this means if we are on state and if we take the input there is only input this will be off and if we are off state and if we take the input it will be on. Very simple example. Okay, we can take another example, which is not, not this much simple. We may have many other state, and instead of one input alphabet, we can have uh, more than one. Like if it is binary zero one, so we can have another example like this. So we have few state A, B. C and we refer as this is the starting state or the initial state start starting state okay. and this we refer as final state or the accepting state. So, what is Q? Q is A B C and the Q 0 is A this is our Q 0 starting state. Now, we have to and what is F? The accepted state or the final state is C. It could be many, but here in this example we have one. So, now we need to define the rule the uh, delta. So, delta means, so we are at suppose we are at this state. So, let us define delta. So, these are the state A, B, C and there are two possible inputs 0 and 1. So, now if we had A, we can write this in a table, if we are this is the this is called a state transition table, state transition table. Okay, we are at A, now if we see a 1, we will have a self loop. So, A with and if we see a 0, it will come here. So, A A with 0 will be B uh, A with sorry 0 will be B and A with A is A. So, now B. Now, from B if we see a 0, it will come here and if we see a 1, it will come here. This is we are defining a finite state machine. I mean so, now, so this will be uh, from B, if we see a 0, it will C, from B, if we see a 1, it is coming back to A. And from C, we can have, if we see a 0, we are here, if we see a 1, then also we are here. So, C, if we see a 0, C, 1, C. This is the way we define this. So, this is also the example of DFA. So, where A is the starting state and here sigma is the binary input 0 1 binary alphabet and this is the final state. We, we do the double circle for the final state and for starting state we will just use this as a start. This is our Q 0 starting state and this is our 
a final state. So, this is this is a another example of a D, a DFA deterministic finite automata where we have a more than two steps as two state and we have two input 0 or 1. Now, we will define uh, more on alphabet that is the string and we will see how we can uh, put the string run the uh, DFA and whether we can reach to a final state or not. So, that that will be the accepting string rejecting string. So, those we will discuss now. So, now we will concentrate on the that sigma the input alphabet and we define the string and then we will see what do we mean by the string accepted by a DFA. Okay, let us talk more about this alphabet. So, alphabet is sigma. So, for binary it is just 0 and 1 for example. Okay, it is a finite input, finite sim, finite input we can say. Okay, it could be uh, uh, 3 also like this. Now, we defined a string with this alphabet. String or it is called word also. Yeah, this is basically a finite sequence of input alphabet. This is defined as a finite sequence of sequence of input alphabet. input alphabet symbols. This is how we defined a string. For example, if our alphabet is these two symbols 0 and 1 by any alphabet, then any any sequence of 0 1 is a string like uh, 0 1 1 0 1 this is a string, then we can have 1 1 1 this is a string. So, all such example is a string because this is a sequence of this alphabets. Any sequence of alphabet is called a string. Okay. Uh, string, this is a string of length 5, this is a string of length 3 like this. And there is a empty string which is defined to be a as epsilon this symbol this symbol is called uh, epsilon. So, this is this is referred to be a e, uh, empty string, empty string means zero occurrence of the symbol, zero occurrence of the symbol of input alphabet. So, that means 0 occurs. So, that means length of this empty string is 0, because there is no alphabet. So, 0 occurrence of the alphabet is and length of this is length we define is 5, length of this is 3. So, this is the way we define the length of a string. Okay. String is also called word. Now, we talk about the concatenation of two string. This is a string of length 5, we can have string of length 2. So, how many are there with string of length 2? This is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. These are all the string of length 2 with the English, with the alphabet 0, 1. String of length 3 similarly we can define, but this is the this epsilon is the string of length 0. That means, there is no in the 0 occurrence. Okay, so, this we need. So, we define the concatenation of two string. Now, we define how we define the concatenation of concatenation of strings. Okay, suppose you have two string a 1, a 2, a n and we have y string 
B1, B2, BA. And here all AI must come from the sigma. Because strings is a sequence of the input alphabet. So, they are all coming from sigma. Now, what we how we define the concatenation x y x y is nothing but a 1 a 2 a n this is a, a b n. So, this is a string of length n this is a string of length m then if we concatenate it will be a new string of length m plus n. So, this is nothing but b 1 b 2 b n just a occurrence of the sequence we write first sequence then we write followed by the second sequence occurrence of the sequence. Now, what is the length of this two this length of this is m plus n length of x plus length of y. Okay. Now, for any string w we can write as w is equal to w epsilon is equal to epsilon w. because this is the uh, zero occurrence of a string this is called null string or empty string. So, we can either have 0 uh, epsilon uh, uh, because we can always suppose we have a string say 0 0 1 we can always write this as 0 0 1 epsilon or epsilon 0 0 1 any any side of it does not matter. If e, even we can put this epsilon in the middle okay. because length of this is same as w because length of this is this is the zero occurrence null string. So, this is the length of this is always this. Okay. Now, we define power of alphabet then we define the language. power of alpha s. Okay. So, suppose we have a input alphabet sigma now we define sigma to the power k it is basically the uh, a b c I mean sorry x 1 x 2 x k it is all k tuple of alphabet where x i are coming from sigma. So, it is all the k tuple these are all strings. So, we just forming the string of the alpha string from the alphabet. So, for example, if k is equal to 1. So, k is equal to 0 means it is the 0 occurrence of the string of the symbol. So, it is epsilon it is epsilon. So, k is equal to 1 is basically the sigma itself. So, if it is 0 1 or if sigma is say a b c it will be just a b c and k is equal to 2 it is all the uh, string of length 2. So, this is a b B C then A C C B like this. So, all the string of length 2 using this same alphabet sigma and then we have. So, this is the all three combination A B C then uh, A C B like this. So, all three combinations so all the string of length 3 using the same alphabet. So, like this so this is of length 1 length 1 string this is of length 2 string this is of length 3 string okay. this way. Now, we define uh, sigma star sigma star is basically the the string of any length is denoted by sigma star. So, sigma star is sigma 0 which is epsilon null string sigma which is the string of length 1 that is the original input 
alphabet sigma square string of length 2, then sigma 3 string of length 3 like this. So, all possible string we can made out of this input alphabet, these are all comes under sigma star including the null string, including the 0 occurrence of the alphabet. So, this is the nil input. Okay, so, this is referred as sigma star, this is the set of all possible string using the input alphabet using the input alphabet uh, sigma, I mean the alphabets are coming from sigma of any length of any length including 0, that means the null string also part of it including the 0 length, that means the empty string also part of it. And the sigma plus is, we, we are not including the null string, it is basically the sigma 1, sigma 2 like this, sigma 3 like this. So, this sigma star is nothing but the null string. So, this is the sigma star and the language is any subset of sigma star is called the language. It is a collection of string, it could be null string also, it is a collection of string, set of string is called language, we define the language, it is the collection of string. So, that we will discuss in the next class, thank you.